Hi, this is Mike Shackelford, also known as the Wizard of Odds, at the 2022 Global Game Protection and Table Games Conference. And I am joined by Kevin Luck, representing his game, 21 Burn. Or is it Burn 121? It's Burn 121. All right, thanks, Kevin. Can you tell me more about it? So Burn 121 is a variation of blackjack where the player gets the option to burn a card if they're dealt a bad hand. And we're, we're saying those bad hands are typically those hard 12s through hard 16s. Okay, and could and does how does the player buy this protection? Okay, so prior to the start of the round, if the player wants to employ that option, they put up a 10% fee in addition to their main wager. So say for instance, a person's betting $10, it would only cost them one more dollar to be able to have that option if they're dealt that hand prior to the start of the round. All right, and so the player pays 10%, kind of like it as a insurance fee against getting a stiff hand, and if he pays the fee, which is optional, then he can um, trade a card if he gets anywhere in 12 to 16. Yes sir, and 43 percent of the time they're going to get one of those bad hands so it feels like from a player it's worth the value and there's some other options in the game as well that's kind of player uh, player advantages. One is they can double on any amount of cards so it doesn't have to be two cards and also a player blackjack automatically wins and pays three to two even against a dealer blackjack. So there must be some take back for those rules that cut the player's way. Yes, sir. So the take back is the 10% obviously is because when I said 43% of the time they're going to get one of those bad hands, well, 57% of the time the house is just going to be able to, to collect that, that fee in order to, to pay for that. And the other piece of that is that when the dealer draws any value of 16, the all remaining player wagers and hands push. And can the player make a side bet to cover that contingency? Yes, sir. So they do have that option as well. Uh, like I said, it's, it's, it's just a kind of an insurance against the, the dealer getting that 16, but there's some various payouts that they can get de depending on the, the combinations of cards that come out. So if you get three cards that are the same suit that equals 16, it'd be a 50 to 1 payout. Same color, it would be 20 to 1 payout. All right, and do you mind if I play a few hands to get a feel for the game? Don't mind at all. Let's do it. All right, thanks. Okay, cut. Place your bets. All right. Dealer goes ahead and collects the burn one fee. And in this case, we have two burn eligible hands against the dealer four. So go ahead and burn the four. Now he proves it to a 21. And we're going to burn the two and improve to a 20. The other turns over a 10. We have a hand total of 17. Player wins both hands. Three. Place your bets. All right, the dealer collects the one, burn one fee again this time. A hand total of 12 on the first hand, a hand total of 17 on the second. One of them is the burn eligible. Go ahead and burn the two. Now we have a hard 16 versus a 13. We stand on those both hands. Dealer draws a 20. Player loses both hands. One. Place your bets. Dealer collects the fee. We have a pair of sevens versus a five. Player elects to split. We now have a double down hand here with an 11. Now we also have a burn eligible hand. We burn the five. Dealer now, player has a 17. And dealer bus. Player wins both hands. One. Place your bets. Dealer collects the burn one fee. We have a player 12 versus a dealer 8. Go ahead and burn the 4. Go ahead and hit. We have a dealer player 17. Oh, and the dealer draws a 16. Although the player hand pushes, the side bet wager of a push 16 pays. And since it's all the same color, it pays 20 to 1. May I ask you a few questions about the game? Yes, sir. So, uh, you touched on this before, but what is the house advantage with and without paying the 10% 
stiff insurance fee. Okay. So if the player elects to pay the fee and they pay the optimum strategy, it's a very fair game. It's a 0.68% house age. So we think it's a great, great deal for the player to insure their hands against that. However, if the player elects not to play, they're giving the edge back to the house and it's a 5.1% house age. So it's, it's always better to play that, that fee uh, in order to, to get the option to burn one. Okay, so I imagine the strategy is going to be different both with the insurance and because of that push 16 rule. Yes, sir. So the strategy is a little bit different. So case in point, in this game, the rules, or the strategy says you should split all threes no matter what the, the dealer has. And then also if you paid for the, the burn fee, regardless of what the dealer card is, if you get one of those hands, you should get the value for your money and go ahead and burn one of those cards. And to make sure I have the rules straight, if you pay the insurance, you can burn out of a 16, out of a 12 to 16, even with two or more cards and after splitting? Yes, yeah, so say for instance a, per a person would have a hard 12, they elect to hit the hand, they get a, a card that doesn't bust them, they can still burn any of those cards. So the third card, first, second, it doesn't matter. Also, if they pay that, that fee, it's good through all hands throughout that round. So say for instance they, they split eights three or four times, and then they get outcomes that result in 12 through 16. They've already prepaid that amount, so they're getting even a little bit better value for their money. Okay, but if I do elect to burn a card, it's just once for that particular single hand, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Okay, I think I get it. So thank you very much for that uh, demonstration, and I wish you luck with the game. All right, thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. Thank you.